out there in the world, we step out of this space, there are a million people telling us we are not good enough because our teeth are not white enough, because we're not skinny enough, tall enough, fat enough, strong enough. If you're young, you don't have enough experience. If you're old, then you've got too much experience. Will they never make up their mind? You must be getting ahead. You must be taking night courses. You've got to be bettering yourself. You've got to be taking, you've got to be doing handicrafts. You should be stenciling your driveway. Martha Stewart, would she be just sitting here enjoying herself? No, she'd be in the back there canning cranberry compote right now. She'd be making little jars and cutting little things out and putting them on. She'd be making a little topiary in her front yard right now. And that's what you should be doing somehow. They make you feel like you should be out there with Martha Stewart, even though the fact is Martha Stewart has help. <laughs> and she has photographers that'll cut that little end off where you are out there with your little shears trying to make a rabbit out of something that never wanted to be a rabbit. It just wanted to be a bush. All the things you have to have. Men now just can't smell like men. They've got to smell like axe, which is suspiciously the same kind of smell that you used to get in those little fresheners for cars. Somewhere they put it in a bottle and then convinced men that they have to wear this so that when you go out with them, you feel like you're in a new car or something. I don't know. Even though you are young and beautiful, you must go out and buy things to put on your face. Why? We are old and ugly and we have to put on stuff to just even look halfway good as you do, but somehow they convinced you that you need it too. It's just not fair. Who decides your eyebrows have to be thin? Who makes all these decisions? Who decides that you have to wear a pair of underwear that goes right up there? Who decides that it's not comfortable, but somehow we think we need to have all this. You have to be age-defying. You have to be gluten-free. Because if you do not do that, you are not buying a thing. You are sitting at home enjoying yourself, eating a piece of toast. <laughs> so tonight, tonight we are going to strike at the very heart of the economy that survives on making us think we need to buy something else, that somehow we are not enough. Mm -hmm. Look at you, mm -hmm. look at you. You're not too young and not too old, you're all right. You're all right. You're not too hot and not too cold, you're all right. You're all right. Not too foolish, not too wise. A smile that goes right to your eyes. Woo. What a nice surprise, you're all right. You're all right. And you're not too poor, not too rich, you're all right. You're all right, you're all right, you're all right. You look pretty good without a stitch, you're all right. You're all right, you're all right. You're, you're not right. too this, not too that. You seem to know where it's at. You got a lot going on beneath your hat, you're all right. You're all right. So tell me every tell night me. you're free. Cause it is fairly clear to see. That there's a possibility That I am made for you And you are made for me Cause you're not too crazy and not too sane You're alright, you're alright, you're alright right. Kinds of calls, girl, back again You're alright, you're alright, you're alright you're, you're not too short, not too tall The kind I wanna kiss in the hall When it comes to go, you're not bad at all You're alright, you're alright And you're not too messy you're all right, you're all right, you're all right. Not too sour, not too sweet, you're all right. You're all right, you're all right, you're all right. And just like Goldilocks would say, before the bear came back away, they